the standard is 8.NS.1, know the numbers that are not rational are called irrational. Okay, so today we're going to be classifying numbers. And our essential statement, now that we know that ES stands for essential statement, go ahead and abbreviate. Our essential statement today is I can classify numbers in the set of real numbers. So the first thing that I'm going to have you do is draw a little diagram. Okay, so we need to know the real number system. So what we're going to be classifying right now are all real numbers. So go ahead and make a table, a square. And at any time, if you need to pause the video to take the notes, go ahead and do so. Okay, so this is going to start our diagram of numbers that we know. Okay, so in kindergarten, for example, you learned how to count. So the first thing that we are going to remember is that natural numbers are in fact counting numbers. And it's numbers like one, two, three, four, five, six. And the, these dots right here mean it goes on forever and ever and ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and somewhere in my diagram, make a box. Okay, I'll make a box. See when you don't use a ruler, it looks very sloppy. I don't like it, but okay. So here we have our natural numbers. And again, natural numbers are like one, two, three, dot, dot, dot. Now don't forget those dots because those dots mean that natural numbers go on forever and ever and ever, okay? The next thing we have in our set of numbers in the real number system is we have whole numbers, okay? So whole numbers, they actually start with zero and include counting and natural numbers. So zero, one, two, three, four, dot, 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 goes on forever and ever and ever. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and just extend my chart Okay, as you can see, whole numbers include natural numbers. Okay, there's zero, one, two, dot, 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 okay. All right, moving on. Okay, moving on. We have integers, okay? Integers you learned in seventh grade. I would hope you learned this in seventh grade. Integers include natural numbers and whole numbers, and now also negative numbers. So integers, we learned last year. Let me go ahead and extend my diagram here. I know it's a little hard to see because I'm using a graphing post-it, but there it is. Normally I would take the time to make the, these tables and squares neat with a shredded, straight edge and a ruler because rulers are super important in math, okay? So these are integers. Now integers include negative numbers, okay? And whole numbers, okay, don't forget the dots. And natural numbers, okay, so that is an integer. I know there's a lot of definitions today. Oops, let me cover that out up right there. Okay, and finally, we have rational numbers. Okay, so rational numbers are natural numbers, are whole numbers, are integers, but they also include fractions and decimals and any number that can be written as a fraction. Okay, and any number that can be written as a fraction. That's a rational number. You obviously know what fractions are. Now you just have a name, okay, for those numbers. They're called rational numbers. Rational numbers are any number that can be written as a fraction. For example, the square root of 9 equals 3, and 3 you can write as 3 over 1. 
okay? And one half and 0.2, you can write as a fraction because 0.2 actually equals two over 10, which equals one over five, which is a fraction. And decimals, okay, repeating decimals, okay? Rational numbers include repeating decimals and regular decimals. And terminating decimals, I should say, okay? So in our own words, so you remember, scoot this over so you can see anything you write as a fraction is in fact a rational number all right and now to finish off our real number system we have something over here on the island kind of by itself okay and that thing is called an irrational number okay not thing that set of numbers is called an irrational number. So let me go ahead and make my little box. And now these numbers are not included in any set. It's kind of hard to see this light blue. I apologize. Okay, so these are irrational numbers. And irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be written as a fraction. They cannot be written as a fraction. For example, pi. Pi is abbreviated 3.14, but really, pi goes on forever and ever and ever and ever, okay? And it does not stop or repeat the decimal. Therefore, it's irrational. Also, any number under the root that is not a perfect square is an irrational number, okay? So... For example, the square root of three. I can't find a number times itself to equal three. That's not a perfect square. So the square root of three is an irrational number because if you type that in your calculator, it's going to go on forever and ever and ever without repeating. Okay, and E, you've seen that on your calculator. Those are just some examples, okay? So the square root of numbers that are not perfect squares are also irrational numbers. Okay, and that actually concludes the real number system because real numbers are actually just numbers. They consist of rational numbers and irrational numbers. So any number that you know up to this point in your mathematical education is going to be considered a real number. Any number is going to be considered a real number and they are rational and irrational numbers all right and that is the real number system i'm going to go ahead and slide the notebook real quick so you can see all of the notes and write them down if you didn't have them okay and again if you have any questions feel free to let me know.